uh, certainly, uh, yeah, I have fond memories from my childhood um, and the family always getting together at Thanksgiving. But when I went away to college at 17, it suddenly became a lot more uh, meaningful as I then you know, finished college and joined the Marine Corps. And I wasn't home that much uh, for Thanksgivings. You know, deployed somewhere around the world or somewhere uh, with the Marine Corps. Uh, coming home and seeing all the family at Thanksgiving made it extra special. But for me now, with a seven-year-old and 11-year-old, the, the memories that I have that I appreciate the most <clears throat> are, you know, hearing them that Thanksgiving day when they say their prayers and say, Hey God, here's here's what I'm thankful for this year, and just the innocence of what they say about that year is just very very special. My uh, fond memories of Thanksgiving, certainly in childhood, involve uh, some delicious pumpkin pie that my mom made, and uh, taking the time out with my extended family to think about and and share those all those things that we're very grateful for. And then with my children, I have very fond memories of doing the same thing with them. And also, since we've lived in Houston for a while, which is a very different climate than Minnesota, our Thanksgiving in Houston have involved sitting outside with neighbors and sharing um, the nice weather this this time of year with our neighbors and having a, a large communal dinner with the people that live next door outside. So uh, fond memories of Thanksgiving, of course, is, uh, you know, hanging out with the family and just, you know, eating as much as we can, but it really it's the whole process of preparing the food. Naps are good. We, we enjoy that part of it too. But in my house, we always had Thanksgiving late, which I think most people have their Thanksgiving at maybe noon. So then you can eat, take a nap, and then eat again. But my dad liked to have it late in the day. So you ate and then you were done. You know, you have the dessert and it was time to go to bed. So seeing these other traditions is kind of nice. So you can get that little nap in the middle of the day. And uh, of course, I'm Italian, and we don't have Thanksgiving. Uh, so it's not that we don't say thanks, but we don't have the, the celebration of Thanksgiving. I was exposed the first time to Thanksgiving when I went to college in the United States in uh, New York. And my university, of course, closed there for the Thanksgiving period, but they would organize a Thanksgiving dinner for all the foreign students because they felt they were missing out some things. And I was kind of like, the, the first time, I was kind of like, kind of like, puzzled by by all of this you know you have to have the turkey you have to have all the all the stuff inside you have to have the yams and all this, this kind of things and i learned then about all the tradition about food but also about getting together and of course my family was not there they were in italy but we as foreign students we create our own family and it was really really interesting and i think uh, i appreciated started appreciating the significance of this uh, festivity of this celebration and uh, since then, I've been doing it, even though it's not one, of, it's not part of my my culture. So I think uh, being up on the space station is a pretty cool place to spend Thanksgiving. I mean, it makes for a great story. Would you have your last Thanksgiving well up in space? And being with you guys is going to be uh, pretty cool. I think we have a lot to be thankful for the opportunity to be here. Um, we have great families that support us being up here. So I think that part of Thanksgiving is not going to change. And if you look at, I think a lot of us in the training, and like Randy said earlier, a lot of us, because of the military background, being an astronaut, we've been away from home quite a bit. So um, I remember lots of Thanksgiving in uh, Star City, which is, you know, everybody getting together and having the big Thanksgiving feast in Russia, which is pretty neat. But uh, doing it up here, I think, is going to be a special treat. I agree. I think uh, being any place where you're surrounded by friends really makes Thanksgiving special, and we certainly have that going on up here. Um, it's also, for me, it's really important to remember um, the other groups of people, like in the military, that are deployed away from home for Thanksgiving in much, uh, in places where everybody surrounding them aren't necessarily looking out for their safety all the time. Certainly the people that uh, are serving with them in the military are looking out for their safety, but uh, they can be some dangerous environments. So we certainly want to make sure that we think about them and pray for them. And uh, but we look being up here, away from my family, we will uh, try to connect that day certainly with phone calls, and we'll share what we're doing, and they'll share what 
share what they're doing and we'll be able to try to make it still a joint holiday with our families that way. We're not home, but we're not that far away from home. And you know, in my in my travels in the past year, I've been uh, really far away, and I could not talk to them. We are fortunate here; we can still talk to them, we can still see them, and I'm pretty sure we will celebrate uh, this Thanksgiving festivity uh, far away, but close. And on top of that, you know, this is really a family, so I could not have asked for a better place or a better people to celebrate this uh, Thanksgiving. And certainly our, our space family makes it special um, to be up here and uh, you know I echo everything that uh, everybody said about uh, the fact that you know we'll appreciate the next Thanksgiving with our families that much more having missed this one and uh, our hearts and prayers go out to those that are serving our country not at home for this Thanksgiving and that they are able to make it special where they are just like we're going to. Um, we don't have anything remarkably special for Thanksgiving, but we've saved up a few things. Uh, you got some mashed potatoes are always good for Thanksgiving. Um, Joe's, I think, got some turkey. Got to have some turkey. Uh, Paolo's cornbread dressing, cornbread dressing. and uh, and Sabo's got the candied yams. And so these are all things that uh, remind us a little bit of home and kind of traditional. I, I think a lot of us, yeah, cran apple dessert, we've got that available. Joe's got some apple cider. And you guys, and, oh, that's your drinking water we'll have. Yep. And certainly uh, the thought of a home-cooked meal is something that really appeals to me because my wife is a phenomenal cook uh, like my mother was. And like Joe mentioned, the process of the day of Thanksgiving and preparing everything is something that uh, just I look forward to the next time. Well, we will organize a, a dinner with all the all the other people, right? Uh, we'll celebrate this uh, festivity on board. Well, we will talk to our family and everything like this. But I'm pretty sure in the evening we will uh, we will have dinner together, pull out all these things, and celebrate, right? And certainly, you know, we our Russian colleagues have us down for Russian holidays, and we learn their traditions and uh, customs. And so, certainly, we'll be welcoming them and be thankful for their presence here and their contribution here on the on the ISS. Happy Thanksgiving!